care bay welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new and if you're new please subscribe um i wanted to do a really quick um video this morning because i was watching um a youtube friend myra so if you guys don't know myra go over and check out myra's vlogs with a v vlogs um but anyhow bless her heart she was having a lot of trouble with um her calatheas and believe me if you have a calathea or a prayer plant you know the issue with humidity and holding moisture well i was i've known this for a couple weeks but i wanted to make sure there what i'm going to show you wasn't going to cause any mold or mildew or anything like that but i wanted to show you guys my fry deck alocasia how pretty is she? Look. And I think my system's working because, look, guys. She's got a new leaf coming out. And, of course, with these types of plants, um, the bottom leaves will turn yellow. You can pop them off or just let them die off. But the life stem it comes from the middle. So, as it gets older, it'll knock off the last leaves. But anyhow, I wanted to show you guys. Look, it's got a brand new big leaf coming in, and I'm so excited. I also wanted to show you the humidity temperature on this. Well, it just went down because of my big mouth. But anyhow, it's a 65. When I came in this morning, it was it was over 70. Oh, it was 72, you can see. And I just want to show you how I'm doing this. Because I've noticed my orbifolia, it likes it too. And this one, as you can see, has been putting out a new leaf. It does have crunchiness on it, but this is where I brought it from the um, um, the nursery, and it was cold that day, and this was a, a leaf coming out, and it burned it. But this is a brand new leaf, and right there is another brand new leaf, and they look great. So I think it's working. So what I've done is, I have these old, ugly plastic pots. They do have drainage, because I had my husband drill some holes in them, or poke holes in them, or whatever he did, I don't know. But anyhow, I have them. I don't like them for actual plants, because they hold too much moisture. So the more I thought about that was, okay, they hold a lot of moisture. So, what I've done is I put a little paper towel on the bottom so the soil didn't fall out. I put a little soil in here, and then I have some wet sphagnum moss. Now, okay, here it is. You can get a great big amount for five bucks. So it's not really expensive. So you just wet it, and I'm just gonna put a little bit around the edges of my soil like this squeeze out any excess moisture guys <laughs> not onto yourself but I just did okay yes I made a little nest there so made a little nest and as this um, sphagnum moss dries, it'll produce humidity around your plant. See, I've done it in there. And this moss is starting to dry out. It's really dry, actually, getting there. See? And it's still at 65% humidity. Now, when I had the humidity um, measure up here, it was, it would stayed anywhere between... 50 and 60 so I'm getting at least 5 to 12 percent more humidity see it just went up a little bit 5 to 12 percent more humidity and the reason I didn't show this before is because I wanted to make sure that the plants wasn't going to get no mold or mildew or anything like that so you know it's evaporating great so I just wanted to let you guys know that and um I made a mess, like always. But anyhow, um, my pull-up of plant, it is going to be on my aglianemas, my Chinese evergreens. And it will be coming out in a little bit. I 
did it yesterday, so I'll upload it right after this one because, you know, I know, look, it went up even more, and I'm way back here. Um, yeah, I think it's a great idea, you know, and it's great to use the extra old bowls that I don't know what to do with. So, who's getting this one? I'll probably elevate it a little more, but I'm going to put my begonia in it, guys, and see if I can keep that sucker alive. <laughs> Because, yeah, I went and bought another one. But I've had it for about a week now, so. And it looks okay. So, I'm going to see how that goes. But I know the alocasia has enjoyed it. I've had ever since I got it. I put it in that. No problems. And I've kept my orbifolias in there. I don't know if that's really, really helping, but it does keep the humidity up on it. So, just wanted to let you guys know that. And I hope everybody's had a great day already. Well, mine just started. I got tons of homework, so I'll have to get these up to you guys. Um, I love y'all. Happy growing.